Well, tonight the sun, earth, and moon are right now engaged in a spectacular celestial dance. We have a time-lapse video here from the start of tonight's lunar eclipse. Look at this. You can see the shadow slowly cover the moon. Now, for some, the Louisiana Science and Nature Center provided the ideal viewing place to see the eclipse. It's getting darker. Um, it's getting darker like an eclipse. It's cool. <laughs> Indeed it is. We go live now to planetarium curator Mark Trotter at the Science and Nature Center. Hello, Mark. Hello, Brad. What are you seeing there tonight, sir? Oh, well, the moon is definitely dark now. It's a bit chilly out here, but nice. Feels like winter for a change. Let's have a look at the moon if we can. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, Mark. we're we're basically in totality now. We still are getting a little bit of this uh, Earth's, uh, the sunlight through the Earth's atmosphere shining on the moon, so that's why it's still visible even though it's in the Earth's shadow. And it's not a brilliant red color quite yet. We might not get quite a brilliant red as we had hoped, but it's still a little reddish uh, coppery tinge to it though right now. Mark, I'll admit from here it looks uh, a little on the blue side. <laughs> we, we, were, we were talking red. What would cause the red? Explain that if it comes. Well, but basically the red color is the longer wavelengths of the sun's light. The Earth's atmosphere scatters primarily blue light, which is why we have a blue sky in the daytime. It lets the red light shine through. So the same reason we have a red sunset sometimes is why the moon will look a little bit red tonight. Just how rare is this occurrence? Yeah, uh, not that terribly rare. Once every few years we get an eclipse like this. We don't have another one, unfortunately, visible from here till May of uh, 2003. So this is definitely the one to see. Mark, solar eclipses allow scientists a chance to study the sun's corona. Is there any similar scientific benefit to a lunar eclipse? Actually, in an interesting way, we can tell a little bit about, a, about the particles in the Earth's atmosphere by seeing what kind of light reaches the moon through the Earth's atmosphere. Uh, not only that, timing the shadows, uh, the Earth's shadow across the moon's surface, get a better idea of the moon's orbit and uh, exactly where the Earth and Moon are in relationship to each other in space. Mark, you've got a lot of people around you tonight. How's the turnout? Oh, yeah, it's great. We're, we're, we're crowded in here. We have telescopes. We've got a long line of telescopes uh, out here. People are having a good view of it. <laughs> looks having like a great time. Mark, it looks like you're all having a wonderful time. We'll leave you back to your Thank moon you. gazing tonight. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Brad. Mark Trotter, planetarium curator at the Louisiana Science and Nature Center.